Hello everyone, Jude here from Tech Office Software. In this tutorial today, we shall be learning how to use Flash Fill in Microsoft Excel. Flash Fill is a time saver when you know how to use it. It makes your work in Excel easy and simple. In this open spreadsheet, I have about 150 names. It could be a thousand or any number. The columns are divided into emails, names, first initials, last initial, first name, last name, phone numbers, and reversed names. My duty in this spreadsheet is to separate the names from the emails, then fill all the columns according to their headings. To do this work manually will consume a whole day. This is where flash fill comes in. To get to flash fill, you click the data tab, then you select flash fill. But flash fill has a shortcut, which is Ctrl plus E. So in most cases in this tutorial, I'm using the shortcut keys. Flash fill is in the most recent version of Excel. What I have to do first is to show flash fill the pattern to follow. From the email, I will first put the name Jess and Drew. When you look up the tab here, you notice that all the ribbons are not working. This is because the cursor is still within the cell is still flashing within the cell. That means there is no active function in the cell as at now because the cursor is still there. For any function to take place, you must either tap enter key or click away anywhere from the cell that you are typing in so that the action can be taken. So tap enter, we now have the ribbons back to work. So I have put in the first name and the last name in the email and now click Ctrl plus E and it has automatically fill in the rest of the names. This could be any number in the list. It's not the most that you start from the number one. You could start from number 10 or from anywhere. As you have noticed, it has automatically seen the pattern and flash field has done the rest of the work. Now that the names are completed, let's come to the first initial. I put the first alphabet in the first initial. Let's start, start from number 8 here. I put R for the first initial. Then I click enter and I press Ctrl plus E and it has selected the first initials for all the whole names. So I come to the next one which is the last initial which has Benson Derrick. I put in D for Derrick. I put in D for Derek. Then I use the down arrow key to move to the next cell. I press Ctrl plus E. Excel has flash filled the rest for me. Then I come to the first name, which is here. I put in Kalem, which is the first name number two. I use the enter key. Then I come up to the data here. Select flash fill and I tap on it, it has flash fill all the names. I am now in the column that contains the last name. I put in one of the last names, Sony. I press enter then I use control plus E. So we are now in phone numbers. These are the presumed phone numbers for each of the 150 names I have in this spreadsheet. I want to separate each three figures with a dash. So I put in the, the number. So I have put in the number, tap enter key to get to the next cell. Then I press Ctrl plus E and if you notice, Excel has filled in the numbers, putting dash in between every three and then the last one four. Let's say to make this thing easier to understand, I want to delete this column. Flash fill work with patterns. It does not follow the what you put there, the complete name, first initial, last initial and the rest of them. No, what it follow is patterns. Once you give it a pattern to follow, it will automatically follow the patterns. Flash fee can also put the names in the reverse order. Let's say here we put in the name when you notice that in number five, Braylon Sony. I now put it Sony, comma Braylon. This will tell Excel that you want it to give the name in a reverse order. Let's use the down arrow key to get to the next cell. Then from up here, data flash field, you click enter. You can notice that it has reversed all the names to the end.
it has reversed all the names to the end to get a timely result in some cases when you put in the first name flash fee may not understand the pattern so you go to the next cell and put in the pattern again for flash fee to understand the pattern you want it to follow so i believe you enjoyed this short tutorial please like the video if you do subscribe to my channel if you are yet to do so press the bell icon so that youtube will notify you once i drop a new video see you in the next video